Nowadays, we have many devices and resolutions, and it does not stop there. Laptops, tablets, TV, mobiles, ebooks, etc. Creating a website layout version for each resolution and new device would simply be impossible. Retina displays have a 1.5 to 2 times higher pixel ratio, but it doesn't mean that widescreen with a 1024 pixel breakpoint therefore must be 2048 pixels. It's all about pixel ratio, which is the ratio between logical pixels and physical pixels. Responsive websites are built on a fluid grid and use media queries to control the design and its content. It scales up or down depending on the browser device. I prepared some sample content with a fluid container and fixed width container. First, the fluid container width is 100% and the max width is set to none. The second fluid container width is set to 100% and max width is set to 900 pixels. However, the fixed container width is set to 900 pixels and max width to none. Let's change the browser window size and watch what will happen when we make the browser window smaller. As we can see, our first fluid container is aligned to the page edges and the second max width is 900 pixels. However, let's change to a smaller browser window size. As we can see, our second fluid container adapts to the browser width because the width is 100%, but the fixed container stays at 900 pixels and goes out of the screen.